Hey everyone, welcome back to Side Hustle Mastery. So in this course, we are going over how you can create a profitable online course using one of my favorite platforms, Kajabi. This is going to be a very in-depth course and if you do want to take action and start building your own online course today, this video is going to be extremely helpful. So this slide is going to show you what we are going to actually cover in this course. I'm not going to, you know, say all these things right here. It's going to take too long, but if you do want to pause the video and take a look, I would definitely recommend doing that. So let's talk about the importance and potential of online education. I do think that online education is booming and it's a result of the digitalization of more and more aspects of our life, right? Right now, online education is definitely one of the best uh, side hustles or businesses that you can start. And the pandemic, which we are you know, just getting out of, has made it much more difficult to take courses learn things and do anything of educational value in person. That's why we see the shift from in-person education to online education. And that's really going to be a big benefit for us. Uh, online education is not only a fully legitimate and effective business model, uh, it can also be a really great source of passive income and it is infinitely scalable. So Kajabi, this is the platform that we are going to be using. It's the platform that I personally use and it's the one that I do recommend. Uh, so Kajabi is a website producing software that offers a variety of features to help influencers build online courses. It's basically an all-in-one platform and it's helped entrepreneurs earn over $600 million in revenue. That's right, $600 million in revenue. Uh, you guys can get a piece of that pie if you do create your own online course and have it be successful. So yeah, Kajabi is gonna have all the necessary or important features to help you build your course. And like I said, it's helped many, many entrepreneurs bring in significant amounts of revenue with their online courses. So I will say that this video is not sponsored by Kajabi. Uh, I'm just simply using them because it's the uh, platform I recommend as an, a great all-in-one solution. So they are super user-friendly. They have a really simple and easy to use interface. Uh, they have so many different features that we will get into later on in this video. And it's basically an all-in-one package, right? You don't need to shop around for multiple subscriptions. Uh, instead, you can just get one subscription through Kajabi and it's going to do everything for you. In my opinion, it's also a really great deal. It's definitely more expensive than some of the other course hosting platforms but it has way more features and that's why effectively I think it is cheaper so from a financial standpoint we can take a look at this graphic here so thank you to David uh, Ramos on YouTube if you add up all the monthly costs of you know ClickFunnels, MailChimp, Squarespace, Teachable, Webinar Jam, it comes out to $268 per month based on the pricing right now. Uh, you'll need to have all these, but we'll say it's somewhere around $200 to $268 per month. Now, if you use Kajabi, it's going to be significantly less than that, so you will save a good amount of money. With the whole Kajabi platform, um, we're gonna explore the pricing. I'll show you how to set up an account. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to use the platform to build your own landing page, homepage, as well as to upload your course. And yeah, it's just gonna be pretty comprehensive. I'm not gonna do every little thing because that's just gonna take way too long, but it's gonna be, I think, really helpful for you guys. So if you guys do wanna support the channel, I will leave a link to Kajabi in the description below. If you guys use that link, you will get a free 14-day free trial. So thank you so much uh, if you do use that. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that here. It's gonna take me to the home page. This is where I can explore um, what Kajabi is. So you guys can take a look if you want. But I'm gonna go to the pricing just to show you guys. Annual subscription, it's going to be discounted. So that's the one I recommend, especially if you do want to build a long-term business, it's gonna make sense. But they have the basic plan, they have the growth plan and the pro plan. So most people are going to choose the growth plan. But if you're just starting out, you know, the basic plan should be fine. A lot of the features are pretty similar. You get more uh, with the growth and pro plans, of course, but you guys can always start with one and upgrade later if you do want. Um, and if you do want, you can choose the monthly plans. It's just gonna be a little bit more expensive. So I'm just going to sign up for this. Uh, I'm gonna click start for free and I'm going to start my trial. So I'll put in my name. Cool, so now that I've got this stuff here, I'm gonna click start free trial. So to start the free trial, you will have to um, actually input your payment information or you guys can cancel it at any time in the first 14 days if you don't think it's a good fit. But for most people, I think 
Kajabi is going to be one of the best places to host your website and your uh, course. So now that I have all this information uh, entered, I'm going to click start my subscription. Then it's going to send you an email um, for confirmation and you're just going to click on that email and uh, click verify your email. So now that I've done that, it's going to take me to this page. You guys can skip this part. It's going to take me onto the onboarding wizard. So let's go through this. Let's do this right now. So you guys can just answer all these questions yourself. Great. So now that we've done that, we are taken to our main dashboard and uh, I'm just going to take you guys through this real quick uh, and show you what it's like. So. Basically, you guys can do this whole get started thing. It's going to give you an introduction to Kajabi, uh, or you guys can just follow along through this uh, video right here. Basically, if we click website right here, it's going to take me into uh, the website designer. So first, I'm going to have to start off with a theme. So let's go to pick theme. Kajabi has a bunch of very great themes that are included in the membership. So you guys can look through these and pick one that actually you think works best for your website and your course and they also have legacy themes so these are the older ones and you guys can take a look at these too if you do like these but most people are going to just go with the streamlined home one so that's just the one that i'm going to uh, select for now and we'll click get started right here so now it's going to install that new theme for us great so now that we're here we can actually click customize right here and this is where we're going to be able to start building our website. So we have a preview here on the right. We have this on the left, this uh, menu, which is where we're going to be actually building the websites. Uh, and settings is right here. So if you guys click on that, we can include a favicon. So if I click on that, I can go here, choose file. I'll go to my so favicon white. That's the one that I'll use. Upload, save, bam. So now we have a favicon uh, that's going to put this little thing up here uh, that you'll see later on. Click save. It's also going to allow us to change the style guide. So if I click on that, it's going to allow me to change the background image. We're going to be able to change the primary color, button style, button size, font, um, all the colors. And yeah, I'm just going to leave that for now since tweaking all that would take a long, long time. And if you guys do want to change any of the uh, built in uh, design elements, you are totally free to do that. So if I go back here to sections, I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of what these are. So if you do want to change the header, I'll click on that. That's going to be this section up here and we can change the uh, text color, the background color the position. If I do have a logo, I can upload one. So I'm actually going to do that right here and click logo file, choose file here, black text. So click that and then I'll click save. So now it's uploaded. I'm going to change the logo uh, image width just so I can see it better. Uh, I think that looks fine and I'll click save right there. Now I'm going to go back here to this section and this is where I can actually edit all the elements on the main home page. So the hero is this top big banner right here. If you do want to change that, we can go here and click on that. And I'm going to be able to change the text. Uh, I'm going to be able to change the call to action button here. And I can also add content if I want. So I can do all the stuff, countdown events, play around with the stuff uh, for the top header, this uh, hero banner right here. I recommend just making it simple. Uh, have some text here and then have your call to action button right here. This is going to be a three feature column. You guys can add things here. You can add icons right there. Uh, I like this design where you have one image on the right or left side and then some text right here. So I would definitely include some of that on your homepage. And then of course, another call to action. This is very important to have on your website. But yeah, this is all very customizable. And I recommend playing around with this. It's very, very easy to do. And after playing around with the design, you can come up with something like this. I'll show you guys my uh, own website right now so you guys can take a look and see what it's like. Okay, so this is my Side Hustle Mastery homepage. This is the page you get to when you just go to sidehustlemastery.com. You guys can see I have a little banner up here. This uh, is going to take you to the free Facebook group for Side Hustle Mastery. I have my logo here just like I put in before. And here's my navigation. I have the YouTube Academy. So this is my main course that I have right now. I have a blog. 
I have an about section and I have a login section for my clients. This is the hero banner right here. I uh, made the text on the left and I do have a little form here where they can submit their email to join uh, Side Hustle Mastery. Then I just have some text here. I have an image of myself. I have this whole uh, three uh, element thing right here. And then I have the blog down here. So this is what the main website looks like. Uh, let me take you guys to my Kajabi landing page for my YouTube Academy. Uh, this is going to be your main landing page for that course, or you can make it on the uh, homepage, but I decided to create its own landing page here that's separate. So I do have the hero banner here. I have a very prominent call to action right here. And then I have a bunch of information about the course. So I'm trying to appeal to the emotions of the uh, potential clients. I want to give them information about the course, but not only that, I want to tell them what's in the course as well as put them in my shoes and put them in the shoes of someone that is really trying to create a life-changing course, or sorry, life-changing YouTube channel, right? So I talk about who the course is for. I talk about uh, getting past your pain points. I think this is very important because everyone that is considering buying a course is going to have a lot of pain points and you're going to want to address those just to in, uh, improve your conversion rate. I have another call to action right here. I have some testimonials uh, and then I have the whole curriculum. So if you guys uh, click through this, you can just expand each of these. It's going to show you uh, all these different uh, portions of each module. I didn't want to have everything expanded at once because that would just make the landing page extremely long. And then I have some more information right here. I have my satisfaction guarantee uh, and then a final call to action right here. So that is the main landing page. You guys can create something very similar to this. Uh, I'm using the same theme that I showed you guys in the previous section. Um, but if you click here, enroll today, it's going to take you to the enrollment page. And basically this is where I have some more information about the course, what they're actually going to get with their purchase. And then I have more testimonials uh, right here. The great part about Kajabi is that everything is literally built into this one platform. So not only can you build your website and host your course, but you can also sell products, you can do your marketing. It's just a really great way to have an all-in-one solution that is actually, I think, cheaper than uh, buying all these separate uh, monthly subscriptions with other companies and just, you know, just having everything in one spot is just going to make it a lot easier for you to take action and get your course out. They also have a great blogging platform. So if you do want to create a blog, then you can do that here by clicking set up my blog. Um, you can go to pages right here. This is where you can create new pages. You can see that the theme has a bunch of pages already made. Most of them are not published, um, but you guys can click new website page here if you want to create like an about me section like that or a blog or a, a new page for another course, uh, whatever it is. And then if you guys come down here to your products, this is where you can actually uh, create your courses right so a new course is going to be a new product so i'll click on that right here won't take you guys through everything but it's just going to depend on what you're trying to create so if you want to create a mini course for example you can click on that if you have a full online course that you're trying to make you can click this they also have a drip course so this is if you want to space out um, the content like being released every week or two or something like that they have a membership uh, product you have a coaching program right here and you can also create a community program here. So I think for most of you guys, if you are creating a course, you're going to go with online course here and you click get started. Here you're going to title it right here. You're going to write a description and then you can also uh, upload a product thumbnail. So now that we are in the course, right, you obviously change your course title. This is where we're going to add content to the course. So these are our current different modules right here. Uh, of course, you can change these if you want. Uh, we can expand them. And what I recommend doing is having your introduction and having some type of like fundamental section and then all the rest of your modules and then a conclusion or course wrap up. So basically, I'm going to click here, add content, and you can create a new subcategory or you can create a new post, right? So we can click on one of these right here. 
This is where we're going to create this first little section. And right now they have it as welcome to the course, right? Course introduction. This is where you can include your video. So if you have a video based course, you're going to click that. Uh, if you have an audio based course, you'll click this and you can also create an assessment. So this is just sort of like a little test or mini quiz that you can put in your course. This is going to be the text that shows up in this uh, section. And then of course, if you have a video, it's going to be your video and then this uh, text right here. You can also have a thumbnail for this specific post or you can upload uh, any downloads right here. So you can add any files that are relevant to this section and you can also add automations right here. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to do this because it's pretty self-explanatory, but I will show you guys the inside of my six figure YouTube Academy course, just so you can see what it's uh, going to look like. So I'm here in the uh, insiders portion of my course. This is what it's going to look like for your clients. And you guys can actually change the theme of this course. Um, you guys, there's different ones to choose from, but I decided to choose this one. Um, basically, you're going to have your title up here, and this is going to have all the different modules as well as individual uh, posts uh, underneath each module. So you guys can see if I click, for example, um, how important is equipment uh, quality, right? I'll click on that, and it's going to take me to this specific video that I have uploaded. Um, your audience is going to be able to play that video. They can actually come down here and change the playback speed as well as the quality and they can also play it uh, full screen if they do want. If they do uh, want to bookmark this specific post, they can click here uh, to start and then once they're done, you can click complete lesson. So that's the video section. Uh, here is the title as well as that little description that you guys can add. Uh, and this specific one does not have any downloads or anything. Otherwise, you would see something like that. Coming back here to the dashboard, you guys can see this is the main dashboard. You can put any posts you want right here. Uh, you can have your categories right here uh, and you can have any announcements right here. So this is basically what the course looks like. I think it's a really great and streamlined design that works well for a lot of creators. I know a lot of big creators that use Kajabi, so definitely a great platform to consider. So if you guys come down here to the marketing tab, this is another great, great part about Kajabi. Uh, when you first come here, it's gonna have you enter in uh, all this information for your company. Um, you can use a Kajabi email domain, uh, or you can use your own custom email domain here. But once you get all this stuff set up, uh, Kajabi allows you to create marketing campaigns within its platform. So you can do all your email marketing through here. You can create landing pages, you can create funnels, pipelines, all that stuff. And that is one of the great, greatest parts about Kajabi. And if you come here to the people tab, Kajabi um, allows you to build a database of people. So you guys can um, have some type of form on your website where people can enter in their information, their email, and that's actually going to bring them over here into your uh, people database. This is extremely important, especially if you are creating a course, you do want to have that uh, organic database where you can uh, send emails regularly to that database and sell your course to them. But yeah, since I don't have this set up, I can't take you guys through the whole marketing like email campaigns, but just know that it's a really great platform to use and I use it for all my email marketing and all my pipelines. You're even able to host webinars through Kajabi, so it really is an all-in-one solution. All right, so now that we've gone through the whole Kajabi platform, you've seen what type of website it can make and you've seen what the inside of a course looks like. Let's talk about some things that will actually help you get started and also build your course so that it's going to be successful. So let's start off with finding a niche, right? You're going to want to consider what your passions are. So what do you love to do and what have you always wanted to do? Consider your skills and talents. So what are you good at and in what areas of your life do you have the most experience and wisdom? I will say that you don't need to be an expert at anything to make a course out of it. It's going to be a lot of research you're going to learn during the journey, but I will say you do need to have that passion, you do need to have that drive, and you do need to have that willingness to learn and get better. And then we also want to solve a problem, right? We want to find that hole that needs to be filled, that's not a sexual joke, 
and think about the topics and disciplines that aren't discussed or taught enough anywhere else. Basically, we're going to want to change the lives of our students. If you can think of something that you can teach that you are passionate about that will change others' lives, then that is probably the niche that you want to do. So you'll want to find an initial target audience and sell that idea, right? So if you said, if I made a course teaching X and X, would you buy it, right? You'll want to survey your target audience and this is the way to assess if there is any market demand because the worst thing you guys wanna do is create a course, spend all that time, and then realize that no one actually is going to want to invest into your course. So look for competitors within your desired niche and don't be hesitant to learn how they teach and provide valuable content. You can either purchase their course and go through it yourself or you can simply look at their course curriculum and see how they structure their course. Look at their pricing to see if you can make something that's competitive or similar to that. And then also you'll want to understand Kajabi as a platform, right? Don't learn too much because it's always important to just get started and learn as you go, but it's important to have a basic understanding of web design and course building first before you decide to spend any money on course creation. Now, when it comes to researching and outlining your course, we're going to want to establish a clear cut learning objective. What exactly do you want your learners to take away from your online course? And what do you hope to improve upon within your learners? Having these answers is going to allow you to uh, structure your course in accordance to the learning objectives. So we want to ensure natural progression of ideas and concepts, and we're going to want to divide the material equally so that learners don't feel too under or overwhelmed at any given moment. And sure, even if you are an expert at whatever topic you're doing, it is important to do research because you're going to come across many things that you didn't think about or you didn't think were necessary to include in a course, but actually are. Now, if you are doing a drip course, so this is a course where you're uh, releasing one module or something every single week or two weeks or something, then it is important to establish a rough schedule beforehand. We're gonna want to make sure that the material you're teaching can be taught effectively and flexibly within the set time frame. You will want to stretch out your content to a certain extent. You're not gonna want to give them so much information and so many actionable things to do within a short time period because that's going to just make it so that they don't take action. Instead, you're gonna to want to find the optimal timing for your course if it is a drip course. And then yeah, stretch it out into separate videos so that you can teach your course over the course of let's say many months. And another thing that a lot of people forget is having assessments, right? It's sort of like homework. I know homework is annoying for students, but it is really important, especially if you want them to uh, take action. So now we want to plan how you're going to actually deliver the course. What's the best way to present your content and have it be the most effective for your students? To do this for most of you guys, I would try and prepare some type of script or outline and use maybe a teleprompter to guide you through the lectures and presentations. If you're doing slides sort of like this whole video, then you won't need a script or teleprompter, but you will need that outline because that is going to help you actually build uh, those slides. So you'll want to consider the complexity of the editing. We're going to want to consider the quality of the audio and the camera work. So if you do want to show yourself in the slides on let's say the bottom right, then you will have to have a camera. You wanna consider the pacing and the style. So if you take a look at Gordon Ramsay's online cooking courses through Masterclass, you can see that they are quickly cut. They're more fast paced and that does fit his persona and the content that he teaches. For others, you may just have the slide up. You won't really have too many uh, cuts and that's totally okay as well. And then you'll also wanna consider the medium in which your content will be presented. So are you going to have slides like I said before or are you going to do full blown demonstrations where it's just a camera on yourself and you're teaching something? Of course, that's gonna make sense for some types of courses, but for most of you guys, I think that slides are going to be better. So these are the things you will need. You'll need Kajabi and this is going to be the platform you use to create and promote your online course as well as your email marketing uh, and webinar and funnels and stuff like that. You're going to need a camera and microphone, definitely a microphone to record the audio uh, and also a camera if you do want to be seen in the course. Some other equipment you might need are like things like lighting and a green screen. And if you are recording the screen, which works for some courses, you can use something like OBS Studios. Or if you have a Mac, you can use QuickTime as well. 
well. And then of course, editing your videos together, you will need uh, editing software. So things like Adobe Premiere Pro, Apple Final Cut Pro X, and iMovie, those are some of the most popular uh, editing softwares on the markets. And of those, iMovie is free. Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro, those actually cost some money. Still very worth it in my opinion. But besides that, there are tons and tons of other free video editing softwares out there. And of course, since you're going to want to research your topic, I suggest buying any books, any other courses, or just reading up online to help you structure and build your course content. So when it comes to producing your online course, I have some production tips for you guys. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check the video and the audio before recording your course. Because if you don't and you uh, record a bunch of stuff and you figure out that you know the framing was off or the audio doesn't sound good, then that's going to be extremely annoying and you're gonna to have to uh, redo that entire shot. So you'll want to make sure that the camera angle is at a good angle, it's physically uh, pleasing and it looks good. Uh, you're gonna to want to make sure that the audio is clear and there's nothing that's annoying to listen to. And you're gonna to want to shoot at at least 720p, optimally 1080p for most of you guys. You also want to look presentable, right? So that goes with your hair, covering up any pimples, making sure that you're wearing the right clothes. Uh, and you're going to have to be confident, right? Practice talking in front of a camera before you teach because if you aren't confident, then people aren't going to trust what you have to say. You also want to be consistent. So be consistent with the way you present yourself and the way you present the content. And then also help learners settle into a consistent format or structure for the course so that they can have an easier time learning. Now, when it comes to editing your course, there are some things that you need to consider. So while a raw and unedited online course can work, remember that your learners have paid money to receive a valuable and quality education. So they're going to want to expect something that doesn't feel, you know, like they're taking a class through college or I guess through Zoom right now. And therefore it's pretty important to make sure that the way your video is edited is done well. As far as the pacing, I recommend having it be quick enough to maintain energy, but also steady enough to reinforce understanding. So if there are any awkward silences that you do or that you have in your course, uh, consider getting rid of them because they just, you know, students don't like to hear that. And every word or sentence counts, so don't waste your time on any unnecessary details in your course. Our students' time is extremely valuable and we want to, you know, be considerate of that. Now, if you are going to film yourself and be in the video, then the lighting is very important. So you're going to want to have great lighting. You're going to want to uh, adjust the saturation and the contrast uh, and anything else. And of course, like I said before, the audio is probably one of the most important things. Uh, that's where the information is delivered. So it needs to be crisp and clear. Of course, if you don't want to do any of the editing yourself, you can always hire someone else to do that. Uh, and you can definitely get editors for pretty affordable prices on Upwork, Fiverr, or onlinejobs.ph. Now, when it comes to pricing your online course, there are some things you do want to consider. So just like with any other business, you're gonna to want to think about how much money you invested into creating this course. Because if you invested a lot of money, then obviously you're going to want to price the product as such. And you're also going to want to consider the intrinsic value of the content that you teach. If you're able to help people build massive businesses and you get great testimonials, then obviously, you know, pricing your course in the thousands of dollars could make sense. However, if you're teaching stuff that won't necessarily lead to um, them making money or something like that, then it's probably going to be priced at a smaller price. Now, we'll say that most online courses range between $50 to $500. There's definitely courses under 50 and there's definitely courses way over $500. But if you price too expensively, people are going to refuse to spend money on it and you won't ever know if your course was worth it. But if you price too cheap, then people will think that your course is just not good quality and that could also hurt the reputation of your course and your personal brand. So I will say never ever undervalue your own content. So now let's talk about launching your course, right? The web design is going to be very important and we're going to want to make sure that it looks clean, organized, themed, and professional. We we'll also want to make sure that it communicates the niche and purpose of your course immediately upon entry and is user-friendly and accessible through most, if not 
all devices. Since many people are now using the internet through their phones, you will want to make sure that your course uh, works well and looks good on mobile devices. And you'll also want to make sure that your course is SEO friendly. So you'll want to research and utilize keywords relevant to your niche and your content. You want to take advantage of meta descriptions so that Google and its users know the contents of your website before clicking. You want to make sure that your website loads fast and Kajabi definitely does a good job at this. They make sure that all your websites are loading correctly and fast. You want to have a custom domain for your course site. So something like mine, sidehustlemastery.com. And if you do want, you can build a site map for your website to ensure that Google is indexing your site properly. So we will talk about all these in more detail. So SEO keywords, right? The goal is to lead as many people to your online course and website as you can. So you'll want to research keywords based on your niche and competition with the help of tools such as Google Keyword Planner, uh, Keywords Everywhere, Google Trends, or Answer the Public. You'll want to incorporate these keywords uh, naturally into many aspects of your online course. So this could include the heading, the descriptions, uh, video and audio transcripts, and the content itself. Now let's talk about meta descriptions. So meta descriptions are HTML elements that describe the pages of your website and what they consist of. So they're going to help search engines understand the purpose of your website or your course so that they know how to rank and recommend your content. The meta descriptions help users also understand the purpose of your website before they click. So you can kind of think of it as being similar to a thumbnail and title of your website. And let's talk about web page um, speed, right? If your website is slow, people are not going to wait for it to load, especially nowadays when people have shorter attention spans and they want things to um, you know, load as soon as it can. So to have a faster optimal page speed, it's really important to optimize the images on your Kajabi page. So you'll want to use either a JPEG or a PNG. And typically JPEG seems to be a little bit faster at loading. And then also if you're uploading images that are huge, you will want to resize them. You don't need an image that's, let's say like 8,000 by 8,000 pixels. That's way too big. Uh, you can actually resize that so that it's a little bit smaller and you can compress and you know, resize these images using tools like Kraken.io, JPEG Optimizer, TinyPNG, and JPEG.io. You can also enable the lazy load images option, and this basically allows for images to load as users scroll down and not before. Another really big thing you need to do for SEO is to create a custom domain for your course. So your domain is going to be the thing that comes after the www. So in the case of my website, www sidehustlemastery.com. The reason why you need to have a custom domain name is well, one, it's very, very affordable. It's probably like 10 to $20 per year, but also that it helps you establish trust with your users by building a unique brand and name for your course. You can use any custom domain website such as GoDaddy or Namecheap or A2. Now you can't buy a domain through Kajabi, but you can buy a domain through any of those other websites. And then Kajabi has a free in-depth tutorial on how to connect that custom domain name to your Kajabi website. Now, this is something that not everyone has to do. Um, in fact, I actually haven't even done it, but some people do recommend building a site map for your course. Basically, a site map is a blueprint to your website and Google and other search engines will need this blueprint to correctly index your site. Uh, the great thing is that Kajabi automatically builds a site map for your website uh, when you use its platform, and then you can submit that sitemap to Google Search Console. Now, promoting and selling your course, this is arguably the most important section. Of course, you have to have a great course itself, but even if you have a great course and you don't know how to promote and sell it, then unfortunately, no one's going to buy it because that is pretty much the only way you're able to get sales these days. So to do this, you can take advantage of pipelines by Kajabi. So you can make all these different pipelines in the Kajabi platform. It's built in and it's completely free. You can use clever lead magnets and landing pages. You can offer free webinars. You can have blogs. You can do email marketing to your database. You can do affiliate marketing and you can also partner with other content creators. So with pipelines by Kajabi, this allows you to build many different of these marketing strategies, right? So you can have a freebie, you can have a sales page, you can have a product launch page, you can do a Zoom webinar, you can offer a free book, 
and you can also do a coaching campaign. These are all ways to get new customers through your door and enter into your database. Now, using a landing page is also very, very important. Every good course is going to have a good landing page. And the whole goal with these landing pages is to generate leads. You have to acquire the contact information of potential customers so that you can continually reach out to and promote your businesses with them. It doesn't have to just be this course. It can be any future courses you release or any other products you release. Now, when you're making your landing page, it's basically just going to be a one page that offers a let's say a freebie in exchange for potential customers uh, contact information. So if you guys take a look at this little image on the right, this is Lyft's current landing page. You can see that they are offering up to $35 per hour to drive your car. And then on the right side, that's where you can enter in your information and click become a driver. So yeah, the whole point with this is the call to action. It's to get them to uh, want to fill out their information and to actually fill out that information and click submit. Now lead magnets are a very, very great way to get people and to actually incentivize people to um, join your database. So this is basically when you're doing a promotion where something is offered in exchange for that person's information. And it could be like a PDF, it could be a checklist, it could be even a book or something like that. You're typically going to pair your lead magnet with your landing page. So on that landing page, you're going to actually advertise that you have this lead magnet and if they do want to get it, they'll have to put in their email. So one that you guys can do is like a checklist. It's free for you, right? It's just a PDF. It'll take you maybe a couple hours to make, but after that, um, it gives, a lot of, uh, it gives a lot more incentive for people to actually join your list. Another very, very effective thing to do is to host free webinars. When you promote free webinar sessions, uh, this allows you to showcase the value that you can bring to the people watching that webinar. According to a study done by Casey Gates of Five Stars, mid-afternoon is the best time of day to send out these types of promotions. And basically you're going to provide a reservation form for users to uh, sign up with and then you're going to want to track their attendance. Now, when it comes to making your actual webinar, you want to educate before you sell. So this webinar, the main point of it is to give your audience a lot of value. And then the thing after that, what you do is you sell, right? You can't sell without giving them, them a ton of value. So that's why it's really important to get webinars right. You're going to want to invest a lot of time in creating your slides to make sure that your, your audience is signing up for something that they learn a ton from. And once you change the lives through that webinar, that first section, that's when you're gonna jump into the whole call to action section where you are selling your course. Now there's also blogging and with blogging, you can provide valuable and insightful information for free to build an online audience or community. After you're able to build that audience and community, then you can begin advertising your online courses or those that read your blog or those that uh, join the email list for that blog. By giving out a ton of free value on your blog first, people are gonna be more inclined to trust you and think, hey, this, this person has a lot of great information. If their information is that good and it's free, then just imagine how good the premium paid courses are going to be. And yeah, if you want to start a blog, then I'd recommend using a platform such as Bluehost, uh, very, very affordable, uh, and you'll build uh, your, your actual blog through the WordPress platform, which integrates with Bluehost. Now, of course, with any successful course, a big reason why the course is successful is because they are great at email marketing. To write a great promotional email, we'll take a look at this graphic on the right uh, that is thanks to WordStream. First, you'll want to lure your reader in with a great hook. So you can try to include numbers, so something like 20% off or $100 off. Um, you'll also want to establish urgency. So don't let your reader think about it. You want them to read that email and make a really quick decision on whether or not they want to buy your course or something. You're gonna to want to advertise the legitimate value uh, of your course so that the reader has to bite. And you're gonna to want to have a great call to action because without that call to action, you're not gonna get any action. Now, some course creators will do this and they'll actually create an affiliate marketing campaign. And this is basically when you are able to use 
other affiliates, other content creators or whoever to promote your course for you. And then when someone does buy that course through their link, that person is going to get a commission. So Kajabi does have an affiliate program built in. It's available with the Kajabi Growth and Kajabi Pro plans. So unfortunately not available with the basic plan. And if you do want to learn more about this, Kajabi has a ton of step-by-step -step tutorials on getting started with the affiliate program and how you can create forms to gather affiliate registrations. When you're doing this, you're basically creating a whole sales team that will promote your course online through their own channels. And hopefully if it's successful, then you will create a lot of revenue doing so. So this is what the affiliate marketing uh, section of Kajabi looks like. You can see how many clicks you're getting. You can see the number of form submissions, conversions, as well as the conversion rate. And of course, if you do have a social media platform, you can absolutely use that to advertise your course and get organic traffic to it. So fortunately for me, I do have a YouTube channel. I do have a TikTok. I do have an email list and as a result, I'm able to sort of pitch my course to those communities whenever I feel like it. That's why digital real estate is so important. If you guys don't yet have an online presence, it's something I definitely recommend doing because it's going to allow you to have a lot of free marketing that you otherwise would not have access to or you have to pay for. All right, so now that we've gone through all that stuff, let's go through some steps, uh, some things that you can do today to get started right now. First, you'll want to find a topic that you can and are willing to teach. It's something that you need to be passionate about and that you think you can teach well. Then you'll want to sketch a rough outline of how you can teach that topic or idea effectively and profitably. Definitely don't overthink it. A lot of people, they want to create courses, but they just never do because they get caught up in analyzing and overthinking and think about all the things that could go wrong, right? Just do it and then you'll learn along the way. Then you'll want to purchase a platform such as Kajabi, right? Play around with its features, learn about it. They have a ton of tutorial videos on the website taking you through how to use the platform. And of course, if you're using the link below, you will get a 14 day free trial. So you can just absolutely just use that trial, play with the platform and see if you can create a course. You can cancel at any time in the first 14 days. So it really is no risk. And yeah, I do think that online education is one of the best best businesses you can make. The profit margins are insane if you're doing it right. If you have organic traffic, then the profit margins are basically like 95 to 99%. And it really truly is a scalable business that you can create from anywhere. You can be traveling and create a course. And then after that, you can just scale it up with your marketing campaign, with your salespeople. And most importantly, you guys, you are changing lives. So you want to make a really high quality course that gets your clients results. And then the course is just going to sell itself and make you a lot of money. On the Side Hustle Mastery channel, it's going to be a bunch of free courses and free guides on how to make money. So if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you are subscribed so that you can see when we post new free courses just like this. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.